An incredible thing has happened. Manifold was excavating a tunnel in the ironworks. His drill jammed, and when he pulled it out, a part of the wall collapsed and revealed something. It resembled the remains of a mechanimal, but, but old, ancient, and not very familiar looking. Everyone else was saying it's the first mechanimal in history, but I'm not so sure. Then, as everyone stared and traded theories, I looked around the debris, and I found a map. I grabbed it on instinct, just snatched it up and hid it in my hatch. No one else knows it even exists. An added development. Someone may have seen me take the map. That reporter from the New Talk Times, uh, Carbine, I think, took a photo to commemorate the discovery of the remains just as I was picking it up. Will it show what I did? We'll see when the Times comes out. Meanwhile, I'm lying low. Let Manifold get the credit. Time has passed, and no one said anything about the map. It's mine, period. And Carbine's photo came and went with the New Talk Times without incident. I followed the map, and tunnels on it are clearly the waterways behind the Mechanimal Historical Society. I entered the society building and made some imbecile small talk with that flange. I endured one of her so-called songs, and then made my way to the greenhouse where I waited until all the other visitors had left. At last I made my way to where a sensible mechanimal dare not go, the water tunnels. I knew if I ventured in there, I could rust up forever. But I had to follow that map. It was terrifying, worse than the magnetism. That deadly substance was pouring from the wall. I noticed something. Can't be sure if it's a clue or not. Right now, though, I must see Manifold for a new set of feet. I can feel the pain of rust at work on me already. Yeah, this is a mixed blessing. It will keep any nosy mechanimals out, but will cost me something in corrosion as I pursue this, which I will. Just when I thought I had exposed myself to lethal amounts of rust for nothing, the solution to the mystery of the map was right in front of me. Had I realized, I could have grabbed it when I first found the map. Well, no matter. I was able to steal the item that I needed as easily as taking coolant from a baby. <laughs> uh, meanwhile, Carbine is a bit too interested in my actions. His front-page article about the theft cast no suspicion on me. Yet he always seemed to be running into me. What's his game? I must beware with that one, for I am about to enter that liquid hell again. I have discovered something so fantastical, so epical, I can scarcely combust. Even now, as the pain grips my talons, I am consumed by what has been revealed to me. The unknown secrets of mechanical life! The true nature of the world! And a fortune in wood! That wood will finance my efforts to escape this existence! Oh, my feet are killing me! From now on, I record these entries in a hideaway I have created near the magnetic zone. Its magnetic field brings mechanimals injury, insanity, or death. And like the water in the tunnels, it will offer both excellent security and a constant physical peril, while I conduct my experiments to break through that wall. My biggest concern seemed to be keeping my secret from flange and carbine. Doesn't Flange have any place better to hang out than the Historical Society? Oh, I don't know which will affect me more. The magnetism, the water, or her insipid songs. Sixteen attempts so far to get through the magnetic zone. All failures. The magnetism is too strong. Lost another beak today. I'm certain this cursed wall was built to trap us here. I've convinced Cathode, the chief alchemist, to direct her metallurgical experiments toward finding an anti-magnetism shield. Naturally, I didn't tell her why. I fed her a line about for the benefit of all mechanical society, which she seemed to accept. Then she added she hoped my magnetism research wasn't interfering with my iron work. Oh, she said certain metalworkers' guild officials are starting to wonder. Well, I say let them. 
There. Must be the magnetism. But I don't care. I'm so close to escape. Transcendence! I must continue. I must continue. But what they're starting to ask questions now. What's wrong, Diode? They say need a language tune-up, Diode. Meanwhile, Carbine hounds me. I know he follows me, taking endless photographs of me. And, of course, when I confront him, he denies everything in that affable, moron way of his. If there is a weakness in my plan, if I am vulnerable at all, it is Carbine. I must act against him. But carefully, to draw no suspicion, I need a plan. <laughs> plan! Oh, I have stopped Carbine cold. At least for a while. I spied him trailing me as I came out of the shop with a new arm, and I pretended to drop something. I bent over and managed with quite credible innocence to accidentally barge into him. Full tilt! Down he went, shattering his lens. Oh, it was fantastic! I, of course, apologized profusely, and, and he accepted it, or pretended to. Is he really innocent, or clever and insidious? <laughs> Does it matter? He can no longer follow, 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 follow me. Quickly, this. I just overheard Carbine tell someone he's going to the Oracle to ask for a new lens. It's all superstitious nonsense, of course. But can I take the chance and ignore it? No. Too much is at stake. I will now follow him to the Oracle as a fellow petitioner. Openly and perfectly legitimate, and stay there as long as he stays and keep an eye on him. How anyone can think they'd learn anything in that place is beyond me. I have stopped Carbine cold, at least for a while. I spied him trailing me as a. <laughs>